After an early win on Sunday morning in the 2015 Tournament of Champions, the Capel Cowboys were looking to defeat the Arlington Vikings and advance to Sunday's championship game. The Cowboys came out on top 39-33 in a very tight and competitive matchup with the Vikings. What ended up being a battle for the clock, Coach Vance Geis of Capel had a lucky break when the Arlington Vikings had a delay of game penalty on an extra point conversion. Uh, we knew it was going to be like this back and forth that a player or two here on defense and and being effect, you know, efficient on offense. That's the biggest thing that we figured, we talked at halftime, last team with the ball was going to win the game. And you can see they were kind of stalling out here and they stalled out and got a delay a game or they could have went for an extra point and been up 34-33. But, you know, that was a, a mental mistake that they made by going for delay of game. So it left the window open for us that if we score, we, we move on. Near the end of the final whistle, the Vikings had the opportunity to come out on top, but there was confusion between the field and sidelines that caused a big turnover, giving the Cowboys an opportunity to make the game theirs. The Cowboys saw a chance to win, and that's exactly what they did. It's huge. I mean, it was huge because they were down. Uh, you could definitely tell it was a momentum swing uh, because here they could have went up, you know, being less than two minutes from the state championship game. Uh, to being 30, up 34-33 to now tied and the best way that they could hope is stop us and try to win it in overtime. So they left the window open for us. If you leave the window open for us, we are going to go through it. After this huge victory for Geis and his team, the Cowboys plan on going into the championship match just like any other game. It's going to be no different than what we've played the first few games today. I mean, that's, it's going to be like that. It's going to come down to who's, who, uh, who executes the most on offense, who can make a couple stops on defense, and probably the last team with the ball, that has the ball will have a chance to win the game. Game championship! Let's go! Michael Knight reporting from the Tournament of Champions in College Station, Texas for the Primetime Sports Network.